Hey friends, it's Lark. Um, I really felt like doing a vlog today. I'm, I have a goal in mind. I'm trying to finish A Torch Against the Night. Uh, I'm about 60% of the way done with it. Um, I've been listening to the audiobook with some reading along, um, but I really want to finish it today because tomorrow I am hoping to start The Poppy War. Finally, uh, my partner and I are going to be kind of like buddy reading it together. Um, we both have our own copies. I actually personally have two copies. Um, whoops. But, um, but I have a couple things I need to get done today. Like I want to do some cleaning. So I'll probably pop in the audiobook while I do that. And then I um, might do some like sitting around and uh, reading along with the audiobook because I can uh, actually put it on a higher speed and just kind of get through it that way. And I need to pick up a book from the library because uh, the hold expires tomorrow. And uh, I need to do that today because it's been sitting there for almost a week now. And I might actually pick up some free coffee from work because I'll already be out and why not? It's free and I can just go through the drive-thru. Uh, but I figured I would bring you guys along with me today. So I uh, just wanted a chill reading day and figured if you wanted to tag along, you could. Um, but yeah. Also, real quick, uh, I actually got a cart from Michael's the other day uh, that a bunch of people, I think like a year or two ago, they were all getting these carts from Ikea or like Amazon or whatever and they were making them their TBR carts. And I saw one at Michael's for like $30 and I was like, I need it. And honestly, it's probably the best purchase that I've made in a long time. Um, and I'm going to show you it and I'm really, really excited about it. All right. So this is my TBR cart. I kind of have it organized by um, priority. So I have the books that I'm currently reading, like A Torch Against the Night was vibing over here. And then I have uh, the other two books that I'm reading that I own physical copies of. And then I have the books that I want to get to next. And then after that, I just have other books that are like decent priority, but they're not like right next on my mental list of what I'm going to read. And then the bottom, I just have other books that I want to get to decently soon. Um, my goal is to eventually have all my shelves be filled with books that I have read. Like this shelf is actually all books that I've read. And then I have another shelf over in the corner and another one out in the hallway that contain books that I have not read yet. And um, eventually my goal will to be to read basically every book that I own and then only buy either books that I've already read, like either through the library or through ebook, or just like um, I can pick up books and if I want to read them like really, really soon, I can buy them. But my new goal for myself will be to only have as many unread books as can fit on this cart. And there's 30, there's currently, <laughs> 31 cart. Oh my god, can I speak? There is currently 31 books on this cart. Um, so yeah, I have a long way to go, but we'll get there. All right, I'm in the car. I have my mask because even though I'm gonna be um, in my car the entire time, I still would rather be safe uh, just in case because, you know, COVID is real. And um, I actually don't remember how to get to the library uh, specifically because I haven't been since I've moved into my apartment and I moved during the pandemic and I haven't been to the library since the pandemic started um and I'm going to try to not use my GPS uh which is always a bad idea because directions don't make sense in my brain um but yeah we'll see how this goes all right so I made it to the library um I am waiting for their line to clear up because uh I tried to call and they're all busy so I'm gonna call back in a minute but um the book that I'm picking up is actually the sequel to Children of Blood and Bone by uh Tomi Adeyemi I think it's called Children of Vengeance and Virtue. I might be wrong. Um, but I actually read the first book like two years ago. I don't remember. But um, I never picked up the sequel because I remember it taking like a really long time to come out. And then I just never got around to it. Um, it probably came out like during my reading slump if we're being honest. But um, the podcast that I mentioned in my first video, um, Two Book Bitches, they're actually going to cover the the two books and I want to listen to them cover the first book before I start the second book because I don't really remember a ton uh so that refresher of them talking about it will really be nice um but I'm really excited about it I remember really really liking the first book and um and I don't think like I've really heard anyone talk about the second one like the first book everybody was reading it and then all of a sudden like it just kind of dropped off the map I guess I don't know but I'm really excited about it I probably won't get to it until a couple of weeks because again I have to wait for their episodes to come out and um, they're currently doing the Six of Crows duology so it's probably gonna be three weeks to a month before uh, they start pumping out the episodes for this series um, but anyway I'm very excited all right I got the book and it's beautiful I'm very excited about it 
I love how I haven't actually done any reading yet in this vlog, um, but it's fine. Uh, I am actually going to make some lunch because it's almost noon and I haven't eaten today, which I know is not good. Um, but I was going to listen to my audiobook while I waited for my pizza to cook, but I think actually instead I'm going to work on um, a video that I might film today. We'll see. Um, but I need to like look up summaries of books and whatnot because I'm awful at doing that and um but I got my free chai and I also got a Danish because I work for the siren and I can get free things so yeah um I'm going to work on this while I make lunch and then hopefully after that I will do a lot of reading I still haven't read yet um I ended up making a spreadsheet of the books that I'm reading this year because I was watching Books with Brittany's video on her like 2020 statistics and um I just instead of reading I decided to make a spreadsheet so uh <laughs> it is one o'clock and I've barely read today um and I'm actually about to film a video so I'm still not reading but I want to film this before my roommate gets home from work but she gets home in like two hours and she doesn't know that I have a booktube channel and uh, I probably should tell her before too long but um Anyway, um, I currently have like my ring light up and I have water and I have my laptop and, um, and I'm gonna talk about some books that I want to read this year and then I will finally read. I don't know if anyone cared, but this is my spreadsheet so far and I don't know if I should like add anything to it or not, but, um, I've only read three books so far, but I guess there's a preview of, uh, the books that I've read. So, you know, get your first look here. All right, so I have about five hours and 22 minutes left of the audiobook for this. Uh, I've been sitting and reading along, so I'm about that far through. I'm almost done, kind of. Uh, but I actually, when I'm reading along, I'll listen on like 2.5 speed. And then if I'm like just listening while like doing other things, I listen at 1.75, I believe. So as long as I just keep reading along, uh, I'll be done in probably about two hours, maybe a little over two hours, uh, but I probably won't be sitting here reading along the entire time. But I figured I was to like talk about my thoughts on the book so far. Um, I reread the first book in the series because I read it, uh, I think like two years ago, but I reread it, listened to the audiobook just the other day, and or I guess it was about a week ago. I don't remember. Time is weird, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I had forgotten like how much happened in the first book, um, so I guess I'd forgotten how much I forgot about. But uh, I'm really enjoying the second book so far. Um, it's not like absolutely blowing my mind, um, but I I still think it'll be another solid four star read like the first one was. Um, honestly, both Laya and Helene, because we have Helene's point of view in this book, kind of annoy me. Um, Laya is growing on me for sure, uh, but Elias is still my favorite or Elias, whatever. Uh, he's still my favorite, I think. I enjoy his point of views the most, but like I said, Laya is definitely growing on me. Helene is getting on my nerves, and I feel like people either love or hate her. Um, so I don't know if my opinion will change on her with the later books, but right now she's kind of pissing me off. But let me just say that I am not a fan of the love triangle that is currently happening. It was hinted at in the first book, uh, kind of started forming in the first book, and I thought it went away, and it did not getting worse and I'm not a fan of it um yeah okay I literally still haven't read um since the last time I updated because I checked tiktok um you know what okay quick rant because you know what I don't understand I don't understand book talk I think it's a cool idea I love that there's so many sections of tiktok trust me I'm I'm in several sections of tiktok and I think it's really cool that there's a book community on TikTok. But what I don't understand is, okay, and hear me out. Because I know that BookTube always, like, hypes the same books. Like, there's always, like, a handful of books, you know, in each genre or whatever that people hype up. But I feel like Book Talk, I only ever see the same, like, books over and over again. And it's not the same ones that BookTube hypes nine times out of ten. Of course, there's going to be some overlap. But, like, um, oh, man, what is it called? The, uh, it's like the Imperium Trilogy or whatever. Uh, Furyborn. Furyborn. That's the one. They, on Book Talk, always hype up Furyborn. I have not heard a single person mention Furyborn on BookTube in like three years. 
but it's all over book talk and you know they read like okay i know that there's like sections of booktube that read um like adult erotica and like adult romance and stuff and that's like all they read but i feel like i see so much more of it on book talk and it's always like the same ones i don't know it's weird it's really weird I just, I don't get it. And then I feel like I saw somebody recommend, like, the selection on Book Talk. Like, what? What? Why? I don't know. It's just, I don't get it. And maybe it's because I'm not the target, like, demographic or whatever because I'm getting old. But I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't understand Book Talk. Um, anyway, that's my rant. And I'm going to hopefully go back to reading now. So. Uh, it is like 7.15 at night, I believe. I have exactly 100 pages left in this. Um, I might try to just like put in my headphones and just like bust out the audiobook, uh, but I don't know if I'll finish tonight. I know it's still early, but I have to be at work at 5 a.m. So I might not finish this tonight, but whether it's tonight or tomorrow, I will update you when I'm done. Good morning. It is now Wednesday the 27th, I think. And, um... I don't think I've updated you since like two days ago when I was like doing the vlog and whatnot, but I finished the book last night. Uh, I finished it later than I thought I would. I had to be at work at like 5 a.m. yesterday and then I took a nap when I got home and it was just, it was a whole thing. But I finished the book yesterday. Um, it's definitely like a solid four star read for me. Uh, I think so far the series of the first two books have been really solid four stars. They haven't been five stars just because like like, I care about what's going on, but I'm not, like, super heavily invested. Like, you know, oh my gosh, like, I'm obsessed with this book. Like, it's really good. It's very solid. Um, I understand why it's a bunch of people's, like, favorite like, YA fantasy series. Um, I'm really looking forward to starting the next book. I have a physical copy, but I really want to listen to audiobook as well. And there's a hold on it for, like, two weeks. So, hopefully I'll be starting that soon. And then today after work, I'm about to leave to go work for a couple hours. But today after work, I'm gonna be starting The Poppy War and I'm very excited about that. Uh, I actually started, uh, this is how you lose the time war this morning. I started reading it physically and then I tried to listen to the audiobook and I really, really wanted to get into it and I wanted to like it because like everyone's been talking about it and seeing how good it is. But I just like, I don't get it. Like I don't, it's not that I don't get the hype. I don't get the, the book. I don't know if I'm just like too stupid or like because I don't really read sci-fi. I don't know, it was just a bit weird for me. Um, so I put it down. I don't think I'm gonna pick it back up um, ever, but I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you for sticking around and watching this vlog and hopefully I'll be doing these more now that I'm like finally making videos again. I really do miss uh, making vlogs just cause I feel like they're really personal. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking with me through this journey of finishing A Torch Against the Night. Have a good one.